Hey guys, and welcome to my Wednesday extended version. So we're going to talk about, um, let's see. I don't really know. We're just going to wander, meander, and see what comes up. Um, as I've told you guys before, I am eating paleo. Um, I'm only drinking mostly water, although I do right now have a glass of cranberry juice. Um, I do like to have at least one cup of juice a day. Um, my husband's getting ready to get up, go to work, so... I am just waiting for him to get up so we can get him off to work this morning and then load this up. I had a little bit of trouble sleeping last night, so I figured tape it before he leaves, upload it, and then maybe go back and try to lay down. Um, but yeah, overall, um, every once in a while I have issues with insomnia. I don't know if it's because of my weight or if it's just my, what is that, that system you have that day and night gets screwed up, that kind of thing. Sometimes I just feel like it's that. Sometimes I feel like it's my PTSD and my stress level <clears throat> because I am the best person at making my own stress levels. Um, I create stress when there is none sometimes, I think. Um, and right now I do have some stress. There's no doubt. My son just moved home, trying to work and get used to that happening again because it's just been me and my husband for a while. Um, it's been a month since I've talked to the DHR people about doing foster care. Um, and I haven't heard from them, so I sent an email, but I forgot it was Mardi Gras. So I got back, office is closed today, I'm out of the office tomorrow, and I'll be in after 12 noon on uh, Thursday, so I know the students I'll probably hear from her will be Thursday or Friday, um, but we have so much stuff to do to get everything ready in this house, I mean, for the most part, it's, it's ready, but I don't want clutter, and I'm trying to go through and like um, do the Marie Kondo thing of, do I use this, this is going to be a joy, do I need this, that whatever. Um, and just kind of picking areas and just starting to do that, but I feel like it's just not going fast enough. And I know they say, take your time, do it right. That way you're not getting rid of things you're going to use, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I'm just, I'm just wrecked about this. I'm just like, I'm not getting this done fast as I want to. I feel like I'm slacking. I feel like I can get rid of more and I'm just, I'm creating my own stress out of doing it. So I think it might not be the best process for somebody like me who has anxiety and PTSD. So I'm probably going to figure a different way out of that, but I'm just trying to get everything settled up so that when they come to do our inspection, our house is perfect. Everything's where it needs to be. We have stuff that's needed at home for a while. We're just trying to get it settled and set up and I can't lift a lot. And so I, you know, rely on my husband and yesterday he was not, he was just tired from work and I got really frustrated at him. Um, I don't mean to, but. I get we have so much to do and I get it's overwhelming, but I don't think he understands how much more overwhelmed I am than he is. And I feel like in some ways my son came home, went right back into his old habits, the reasons why it was a better idea for him to move. And I'm hoping that ends because I'm not okay with it. Like, I don't know. But there's that. And then there's... I just want everything done. I want everything to have a place so that it's easier for me to do stuff on my own. Because on my back, yes, it's gotten better. But sometimes just being around the house, I push myself too hard. And then my back is worse. And we had agreed that once we got our income taxes, we would go to Atlanta for the weekend. So I'd go to the BDP gym. And now it just seems like every weekend just something's coming up where he's going to have to work. And I'm just getting stressed out because I really want to go and work with a personal trainer so I can really know that what I'm doing in my workout is the right workout and I'm doing it the right way. I don't want to be doing something that's going to either cause me injury or that I could improve and get more workout from it. Like I want to make sure that my form and everything is right. I want to make sure that when I'm doing stuff, I'm getting 100% out of it. I don't want to slack on my future. And so I've kind of decided that today... Like I said, once he goes to work, I'm going to go lay down for a couple hours um, since I didn't sleep well. And I'm hoping that when I wake up, I can sit down and I'm just going to make a list of everything I feel needs to get done in the house and what I can do on my own and what I need help with. And then I'm going to sit down with my husband and my son and my husband can tell him from work and be like, okay, which of these things can you help me with? Because these things have to get done like right away. And, um... I mean, luckily, like I said, the foster room is done in the back. Um, we just did some insulation of, like, jars that screw up 
underneath the cabinets in our kitchen so we can put stuff like our rolled oats, our rice, stuff that's that we use regularly, um, but just an easier way to store it and have an easy access um, and that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very like, I'm very overwhelmed when things are chaotic. Um, and I think that's due to my PTSD and my anxiety, like I said. Um, so I really need to get this place into a place where I am calm all the time. Um, and I think I don't like being in limbo and I feel so in limbo on so many things right now. I like to have plans. Like I am the girl who has a calendar. I write down every day what I'm doing on it. I know what day, what videos are going up. I may not know I'm going to talk about my extended ones daily because I may have different needs to talk about things every day. Or I may have something that somebody posts on Facebook that I feel like needs to be discussed. Um, but I also have other videos I do, like unboxings. And when we go to arcades, I like to videotape that and stuff like that. So, I mean, this channel is, is about my whole life. The weight loss is the biggest part of my life right now because I need to do this for myself. Um, and I'm learning how to find my voice. And I'm not the type of person. I've never been that person of, I need you to do this right now for me. I've always been like, could you please do this for me? I really would like your help. Like I'm always very um, passive, I guess. It's just what I've always been. Um, and it probably came from being abused um, by my spouse that I just kind of developed this passive behavior with my husbands and my men and my family. Um, and I think the abandonment issues that I have somewhat also play in it is that I'm afraid of making somebody else angry. Because if I do, then I might, they might walk out on me. They might go away and that's not okay either. But at this point, I'm not getting my needs met. And if I don't start speaking up, no one's ever going to do it for me. And so I think if you take nothing else away from this extended version today, <clears throat> if you are someone who finds yourself always saying yes and never saying no, always just trying to be the peacemaker, trying to keep things calm, all of that. It's time to learn how to say no sometimes, and it's time when you need something to push the issue. Because I am getting anxious and, you know, an issue, having issues, because I feel like I'm not using my voice. And I know my husband loves me, so if he loves me, then why wouldn't he want to do what I need done? Like, he's not the kind of guy who would shirk. From being helpful but you know we both want the same thing at the end of the day so I don't I can't imagine that for him this would be some sort of major issue <clears throat> so the things I got done yesterday though that I made sure like, I made a list of things to do I got all of my yard sale stuff that I'd already separated out priced and put into a box I cleaned up one table I got um, I decorated for Easter. I have my coffee table pretty much cleaned off. I have a couple of things I need to find homes for. Um, and I have some, I take some pictures of paparazzi jewelry that my daughter had sold. Um, now I can tell you, I know I hate even having my subscribe star on my Patreon down bottom because I feel like, oh, you know, people are spending money on every, every month, which no, I don't have anybody on either one right now, but people some money each month and I want to make sure I'm giving them everything they want and blah, blah, blah. But I'm also going to be listing my Amazon influencer account going forward on the bottom, as well as I am part of a direct sales company. I know people hit MLMs. Ugh, I can't say that word. Um, but just so you know, this is not your typical MLM. Um, I will be talking about that more when I get my package in. I just ordered stuff for the first time. And the great thing about this company is you don't have to buy a kit, so that was very helpful in joining. Um, and yeah, so overall, um, I love what I do on the side. Um, and I'll be sharing more of that, like I said, when my package comes in soon. Um, but those are ways that if you want to help support me and my family and help us be able to continue doing YouTube, um, then those are ways that you guys can help us out. Like I said, we are not rich. We're not a rich family. We don't have tons of money. Um, 
and I want to make sure that once we have these kids, if they want something, um, I can give that to them, um, within reason, obviously I'm not like a spoil the kid kind of thing, but I mean, if there's something they want to go do or, you know, that kind of thing, I want them to be able to go like, that's important to me. Um, I have some K-pop concerts coming up and I'm going to do some videos, which I'm really excited about. SF9 is coming and I have a code to get shit seats. I am really hoping it is not a debacle. Like when I had a code for another group recently, um, because I had a code, I tried to buy a ticket and told me they were not available. They're not supposed to give out more codes than our seats available. And so I was like, well, maybe there'll be more seats released for the general release. And I'll just go in and buy them then. It's no big deal. So I went in for the general release and it was still sold out. So that kind of ticked me off because probably what happened was that scalpers got in with multiple codes and I think they should come up with a system to verify people are real um, because those tickets are now on sale at places like StubHub and uh, Seat Geeks and stuff like that. And it makes it really sad for people who wanted to spend the regular price and now it's been like three times that just to go to a show. So it's frustrating. But um, there's lots of things I want to go and do and I'm working really hard to save the money or sell stuff to make the money. Um, and that's just how it is. So overall, at the end of the day, I appreciate all of you who do message me and ask other ways you can help support. I totally understand people who don't want to do Patreon or Subscribestar. I really didn't even want to make accounts on those, but my, my friend who does YouTube said, you need to have them on there because at some point there will be people who do want to support you and it gives them an, an option of how to do that. Um, really soon when I hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a $50 giveaway. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a box of stuff or I'm going to do a gift card. Um, just as a thank you for those of you who have supported me. And I think that when I hit a hundred, I'll do another one and then 500 and a thousand. Um, the dollar amounts obviously won't go up to that because I won't be making any money. Um, so unless I have a whole bunch of people join me on Patreon or subscribe started where I can offset the cost of give, doing a giveaway. Um, but yeah, so, cause I have stuff from different unboxings that I've done that we won't use. Um, and I could go online and I could sell it, but the whole process of posting stuff online and how people message you and being these entitled people like, well, you only paid this much for that box and that was one of 10 items and I only want to give you $5 for it. Well, that's cool, except for the fact that the other items were worth like five bucks, this one was worth a hundred. Like, why do you want to pay five dollars for the one item that was worth a lot of money? Like, people just suck sometimes. Um, but yeah, so that's that part. But I mean, overall, I think the thing I'm working on the hardest now is finding my voice. I'm trying to own the fact that I have let other people not meet my needs and I've been okay with it. And from now on, that's not okay. Um, starting today. So today after I take a little nap, I'm probably going to work on my craft area a little bit, get that better set up. Cause right now it is a mosh pit mess. Um, I need to figure out some organization techniques for different things that I have like brushes and paints and things like that. So I'm going to be looking for some like organizational caddies to put in the drawers, like one that maybe holds all my paint brushes and one that holds all my crochet hooks and things like that. So that I have a place for everything um, to where I can like literally draw a diagram and maybe put it in a book of where everything is located. I want to get super organized so that if somebody says, where does it go? And I say it goes to my craft desk, they can open a book, look where it goes and put it where it belongs rather than what happens right now, which is someone will grab something they find or something they borrow and they'll just put it down on my desk or put it where I can grab it. And I just want to put stuff away. So I don't have to, you know, it's a little things that matter, but I'm going to try to get super organized. I'm going to try to get super minimalist. Okay. I'm not going to be too minimalist. My walls will never be white. I am not a white wall girl. I hate white walls. Um, and I like things that smell good and I'm just going to continue doing the way I'm do doing things in general as far as how I decorate. But I think I'm going to minimize the stuff I carry around with me. So 
Today I'm going to start maybe working on some crochet things that I have. I really want to get my Etsy store running. Um, have a couple of things on there right now, but it's not worth being called an Etsy store. Um, but yeah, overall I want to be able to, um, I have little split kitchen scrubbies I'm going to start making by crocheting. I have a thing to be able to make socks. I got some really cute yarn to make socks with. Um, I have a few other crochet patterns that I'm going to do. I'm going to start working on Christmas ornaments so that I can put them up in August, September and get those all ready to go. Um, there's a lot of stuff I need to get done. I'm going to just take pictures of things so that when I'm ready to go, they're already boxed up. I just have to, you know, sell them on Etsy and hope that my Etsy shop takes off. Um, if it does and if YouTube starts picking up for me, then great. Um, maybe I won't have to go out and get a full-time job and I could just do foster care. Or maybe I could actually get started doing foster care. If I could do foster care, we'll be fine. I mean, we're not, you know, they pay enough at least to put clothes on their back. And I already cook, you know, it's just a little bit of extra food for kids. <clears throat> um, especially since we're getting girls, although sometimes girls are worse. But, you know, it also gives me the ability to, you know, use flour and different things and make cookies and freeze some and leave some in a jar for if they want a snack or things like that. Um, but with our garden, that'll also help offset grocery costs. So, and we're also going to start raising quail to make for dinner as well. So, our home setting is going to get lit pretty soon here. Just so we can start being a little more self-sufficient, cutting costs we can. And I have some great things coming up that I have coming in soon. Um, I got a tea box. I got a hot sauce of the month box. I got, oh, coming up in the next month or so, I got some really cool Kickstarter items that I ordered last year um, that are now in full production, getting ready to ship. So I'm super excited about that. Just waiting for the, your item is shipping on the state email. Um, and at least one. The other one, I think, is going to be the end of the month. So be really cool with that one. I'm super excited about. But yeah, so there's things we want to do and things we want to share that our family loves to do. We want you guys to feel like you're part of our family. Um, like if you were to see me, you could say hi and know who I am. Great, and I want to know about you guys too. And that's the thing. That's why I have a Discord, which is listed below. So we can all get to know each other and support each other. If you're trying to lose weight, let's talk about it. Um, I may not know everything, but I got lots of resources people I can talk to. Um, and we can figure stuff out together. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.